Hi there folks, welcome to another video. Today I wanted to do a follow-up on the video that I just uh, posted a short time ago where I had no insulation, was cold, and obviously when one is cold it's very hard to keep well. Well if you look behind me here you can see that things have dramatically changed. One of the things to mention is I tried for weeks and weeks to get someone to come out here to my cottage and insulate it. Sierra Vista seemed to be bereft of people that wanted to do insulation. One company came out and said, who told you we would do this? We only do attics. So scratch that one. Finally, I literally went through the yellow pages in Tucson, down the listings, calling and calling and calling. A few people said, sure, take pictures of your building, uh, text them to us, and we'll give you a price. Crickets. Nothing. So, I was getting pretty discouraged, and this is weeks of trying. Finally, finally, a company called Banker Insulation out of uh, Tucson came all the way down and insulated my building. Okay, the boys say that all the foam is ready to start applying to my little home. And they also say I'll really notice a huge difference with the warmth inside. I really hope so, because it's been cold. a serious hazmat suit. Gotta stay safe. Just like space exploration. Okay, so Zach is going to now cut all that foam and make it flush. This tool is a scraper tool that scrapes the studs and makes it so that you can put drywall on without any foam sticking up. So now the foam is nice and flush with the walls, or the studs I should say. And obviously they'll clean up the old pieces that are left over. So now what Jeremy's doing here is he's just filling in some cracks and crevices, making sure it's all uh, filled in appropriately. 
so there's all the leftover foam. And the guys have scraped off the wall and cleaned up that's left over. Well, Jeremy and Zach from Banker Insulation have come and gone. And the little cottage here is now all filled up with warm looking open cell spray foam. And they even were nice enough to put an extra amount in the roof area. So I thought that was really nice of them. They didn't have to do that. They just added extra foam there. So I'm cautiously optimistic. It's so cold these days. I really hope this makes a difference. We'll see. So what I need to do is just uh, sweep up. They swept up all the big pieces, but I've got to finish up sweeping um, any of the small stuff that's still there and any dirt as well. And of course, and of course, the reason why all of my doors and windows are open are obvious. This stuff uh, is chemical, so it has to cure for a couple of days before the smell leaves, and uh, it's uh, then safe to uh, to uh, breathe in and safe to be in the room. So, but once it's all cured, it should be fine. I researched and researched and researched as to what to use for this little cottage. Um, I was thinking, first thing I thought of, let's do cellulose because it's, you know, eco-friendly. It's ground up newspaper. They treat it with fire retardant. I thought it'd be great. And then I got reading different things about it. But most importantly, I checked in with an insulator himself and he said, you know, we don't do it anymore. It just, it settles and the fire retardant wears off and rodents like to burrow through it. So I'm like, okay, scratch that. And then I went to fiberglass bats because I thought, well, I can put those in myself. The R value is pretty good. And I thought, you know what? Yeah, it's cost effective, but this little place with all of its little nooks and crannies, I just don't think I'll be able to do a really good job. So uh, I'll scratch that. Then I thought, well, let's do rock wool. Acoustic wise, it's really great. And it fits really nicely in the cavities. Um, and very easy to install. I can do it myself. Pretty inexpensive overall. And so I really looked hard at that for a long time. And then I'm like, you know what? I've read so many articles. It, it's really an asbestos type of thing. The fact that there's controversy about it, I'm just gonna scratch that. I know that there's ground up denim jeans and things like that, but that stuff settles and pretty, co pretty costly. There's also sheep wool and that's really costly. So finally, I got to spray foam. So I had to look at open cell versus closed cell. A big heads up was Tucson, Phoenix, all of those areas here in Arizona use open cell. And it's it's cheaper as well, so I'm like, okay, that's a good thing. So what's the difference? Closed cell apparently is great in really moist, cold climate. So think New Hampshire, Maine, you basically fill your cavity with not very much, just a few inches, and then it dries rock hard. So it also makes your building sturdier. Well, this little building is super sturdy. It's two by six, it's really well made. So I don't need the sturdy part. So let's go with open cell, and I love the price. So everything I'm seeing here today, folks, from uh, 
banker insulation in Tucson is that they did a good job. Jeremy said, hey, we're going to put extra insulation in the roof for you. And I'm like, wow, that's nice. So I'll show you. So really, really thick up there in the roof area. So the boys put a lot of insulation in there for me, and I appreciate that. I love my cactus wrens, but they've got long nails and they land on the outside of my metal roof and I can't slew through it. They're a beautiful little bird, love them. I don't hold it against them, but maybe I won't get woken up in the morning by cactus wrens and their toenails on my roof. So not knowing anything about open cell foam or spray foam and the jobs uh, that are completed and what is a good job versus a bad one, I think this is a really good job. It looks neat to me, it looks really well done, and uh, I'm really hoping it'll make things warmer. And one thing about the day, you can't beat it for it being a really pretty day and a good day to get insulated. This is too hot in here. Thanks a lot for watching this video, folks. I really appreciate it. I really am delighted with the job that Banker Insulation did for me. I'm now super comfortable in this little home. Doesn't matter if it's 20 degrees outside. So it's fantastic to finally be nice and warm. I hope this was helpful in some way. I know some folks may need to learn about insulation. There's a lot of information out there. And so I hope this was helpful in some way. And also, if you want to be notified when I do another video, click the little notification bell and by all means subscribe. If you've got questions, leave them in the comments below. I read everyone. Absolutely appreciate you guys coming by and we'll see you on the next video.